to sell slash donate. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Bukit. I make videos that help young people cope with the difficulties of adulthood. I have big news. I will be moving soon. I will be moving in with someone into a much, much smaller space. And I always have this problem with like hoarding and I have a lot of really small things. So for this year, I set myself the goal to be a little bit more of a minimalist. I've prepared a list with things that I want to declutter. Let's get started. I tend to have a lot of attachment issues with the things that I'm using. So I already knew that it was going to be very hard for me to get rid of the things that I have, even though they might not be that necessary to have. If you have the same problem, it might be useful to start with a little thing such as your purse, or as we call it in German, Geldbeutel, which literally translates to money bag. I, for my own part, realized that I had about five to six stamp cards of boba shops that I was not even going to, like they were not even my favorite boba shops. Another thing to definitely reconsider are receipts of past purchases. If you don't need those receipts anymore, you should not be keeping them in your purse. I noticed that I have like a pattern. The thing that I definitely buy the most without even thinking about it are clothing items. So first we're gonna sort out the clothing items. I have already prepared all of the things that I want to sell slash donate. First I'm going to look at which ones I want to sell and which ones I want to donate and then I'm gonna take pictures of them and upload them. Oftentimes when we think about decluttering clothes, we leave out other fabric materials tote and shopping bags for instance or all the hats and caps that you once bought with the vision that they would make you look super cool super badass super something i never thought about throwing away dead socks before until i heard about it in a youtube video about decluttering but it is very important to get rid of the socks that don't serve you anymore I don't believe I have a lot of duplicate things. The only thing I know is really duplicate are black pants. I have way too many black pants and even though I do like to wear <laughs> black pants in general, it doesn't make any sense to have that many pairs of them. I think I have like three or four. I don't think I need all of them because I recently bought a new pair of black pants and that one looks really nice. So I think I'm gonna just keep that one. Next up is the desk space and stationery. Over the course of the past few months, my desk has become part of a almost sacred place for me because most of my creative work and also most of the work that I do for university editing videos, like my whole life has been revolving around my desk recently. So I wanted to really take my time and get rid of all of the distraction items that I had over here. Okay, so I have these goodie boxes which have a lot of crap in them. I did use these once for a clothing alteration video, but I never used them afterwards. And then here I have so many phone cases. I have a little obsession with phone cases, which I need to control. I have this power bank, which looks really nice, but unfortunately it doesn't work anymore because I, for some reason I can't charge it anymore. And it's very sad because it's so cute. Should I just keep it? I don't know. What do you think? I have two of these selfie buttons, but for some reason, every time I search for them, I cannot find any of them. So I'm just gonna keep this one because it works on all devices. So this is the result. I think I cleaned up quite a lot. The biggest thing that changed, obviously, are these drawers. They don't have that much stuff inside of them anymore. And uh, it already feels a lot better. This is where I keep all of my camera stuff and things like that. Over here, I also cleaned up. These are like personal things, certificates, and some posters that I'm planning to uh, hang up once I move. So yeah, that was a success, but we're not done yet. I'm currently on my way to bring some of 
my unused books to something like a public bookshelf. We tend to have these kind of bookshelves a lot here in Germany and also I wanted to take a walk so this is the perfect opportunity. Right now <clears throat> I'm about to go and give my guitar away. I'm not even gonna sell it, I just wanna gift it to someone who can use it more than me because now that my boyfriend left one of his in my apartment, I have two of them and no one needs two guitars, especially not someone who can't play the guitar. So I'm gonna give this one away. Welcome to my kitchen. I would say that my kitchen is one of the more organized places of my home and I don't tend to clutter up on kitchen utensils so much. But still, nonetheless, I haven't been here for over a month. So the food that I had bought um, before I went, because I kind of left in a rush, because we had uh, like a family accident, so I had to leave in a rush, but I still had food in my fridge. That's what I hate about living on my own, because I cannot buy anything without having the fear of it going bad. So I cannot buy a big amount of stuff and I cannot cook big amounts of stuff even though I put it in the freezer, I don't have a big freezer and stuff like that. Let's declutter the kitchen first. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> the good thing is though that my freezer is fine. I have these things and I think I'm still gonna eat them so... I won't throw them away, I will leave them here. So, I completed the first step of the kitchen cleanup, which was a fridge and freezer cleanup. And now I'm gonna get rid of all the kitchen towels, sponges and kitchen cleaning stuff that I don't need anymore. These green tea noodles have been in my apartment for over a year now and I did use them a few times. They're divided like this so I only have to use one. They don't taste really well or like I don't really know how to prepare them so I think I'm gonna give them away to a friend. Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. This is where the magic happens and by magic I mean y you know what happens in a bathroom. I have a few things that I very often splurge on in the bathroom from one I am a total sucker for skincare. I love skincare, which often results in the fact that I buy too much. The first thing we're gonna do is sort out all my nail art. I recently started doing gel nails, so I don't really use a lot of like nail polishes anymore because I just find the gel nails a lot more convenient. I have a lot too much nail art, uh, so let's start with that. Next up is skincare. I already did like a little clean out before I shot this video. The only thing that I know right now that I'm probably gonna get rid of is this cream. Actually, already used it, so I cannot give it away to someone. I just have to throw it away, I guess. And it's been sitting here for quite a while now. I'm not that sure. Though. Good day in the mind. Take to take a step out. Get some in now. Let's show it out. Too soon I spoke, you'll be heavy in the 